What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So last night I uploaded a video to tell you that Halloween ends did indeed have its footage revealed. Footage was indeed revealed. I did not say it was released online. It was revealed at CinemaCon as many of you who watch my channel knew that we were expecting to get that. And now I just want to come on here and do a better breakdown of what we saw in the in that trailer that was presented by Jamie Lee Curtis who again gushed over her time in the world of Lori Strode and she talked about how Lori represents every woman who is facing their figurative boogeyman and again if this is her final hurrah as the character of Lori Strode I think she also made comments about how Lori Strode is basically like the OG final girl and I'll give you that I don't think the term was around at the time but she essentially yes would be the OG or one of the OGs if not one of the more one of the more common ones you think of when you hear the term final girl you think of her i, I would say laura showed is at the top i would say she's at the top just because of how long she's been in the horror genre and what that character has done over the years but going into this breakdown from comicbook.com it is saying here that the trailer again starts out i guess by saying 44 years ago the face of fear was born classic footage from john carpenter's halloween is shown a murder montage shows the victims of michael myers on halloween night 78 in 2018 every scream every scare every slash has led to this in a in new footage Lori breathes heavily as she hides in a dark closet michael myers stalks a kitchen with a knife Lori lunges at Michael and slashes at him. It's a brutal fight. Michael grabs Lori's hair and slams her face first into a glass cabinet. Lori grips her knife and stabs it into Michael's hand. The trailer ends with Michael on the table. Lori stands over her prey with a butcher knife. And then we get the title card, I guess, of Halloween ends. Now, I don't know how long this will actually end up being when we actually get it. Because, again, I'm predicting this will arrive online in June, maybe even late July. But I'm hoping June. Um and be be attached with jurassic world dominion uh i think another movie coming out that same same month is the black phone so it could be attached there uh out of any of those two universal movies i think that they would have the trailer or this teaser trailer i guess you could call it associated with one of those movies so halloween ends this footage that we're getting and or that we got released or not released revealed at cinemacon last night and how it's describing this brawl between michael and laurie and how it's again going back over the footage of what we've already seen to be canon in this current timeline the events from 2018 and the events from halloween of 1978 from john carpenter all of this feels very very full circle of course they're treating it like you know this is the end i i'm, I'm seeing that you know they they really are honing in on the fact that this is called halloween ends and they're not they're not shying away from letting that be a part of the marketing they're trying to literally get you to go out of your way and be sold on the fact that this could be the end of the franchise this could be the last michael myers movie would i be fine if this is the last michael myers movie yes i would only because of the fact that if you and do if you do indeed go out on a high and then come back many years later and you know we get that little mediocre slasher sequel that, that i guess many of you consider those in between movies to be then you know so be it i don't want it to be too soon though to the point where people look back and say oh no that that messes up what we got with halloween ends it tarnishes that movie's legacy if it ends up even being a classic i think there's a chance that this movie does indeed surpass what we got in halloween kills i think there's a chance that what we get is going to be something that again is more character driven we will get to spend more time with laurie strode obviously see how she's been impacted by losing her daughter now possibly even living with her granddaughter how she's been impacted by it and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this kitchen brawl actually looks on screen. Now, I did also want to touch on something as it pertains to an individual who was in attendance at this uh, screening and talked about Michael potentially having a new mask. Now, Michael most most likely will not have a new mask, but it might have some updates to it. So I guess you could still call it new in the sense that it apparently will have like some stains or it's going to look like the mask he had at the end of Halloween kills, but maybe it has with some, maybe it has some blood stains or something from where he killed Karen. And I'll leave a link to the tweet of the person who is claiming they saw this, uh, but they're saying it looked like the, the mask he had at, at the end of Halloween kills, but maybe this just had a few added additions to it 
given how he killed Karen. And it's just like has some dried up blood stains. Maybe it looks a little bit more worn and maybe it has more signs of being like, you know, torn down, worn out because it's over four years later and he doesn't take care of himself in the sense of being clean. And that's how the mask will look. And I guess that's how you can come to the conclusion. It's a new mask while really it's just a mask from Kills with some added additions to it which I, I i'm not against that if they go with that that's fine i would much rather have that than something that's completely new where he just has this brand new mask it has no burns on it it's completely fresh and new uh so if they're sticking with the kills mask but now just adding some new details to it based off of everything he endured in kills then that's a good that's a good way to bring back a new iteration of the mask while not being completely new and again the consistency here with the look of the shape is one thing i got to give props to with this trilogy because again going back over the mini sequels and how he looks different in all all of the sequels and all the movies mostly because of the fact that it's a different actor portraying the character so i got to at the end of the day even if halloween ends were to fall short gum on here and at least acknowledge the fact that this movie series this trilogy here is the most consistent creatively in the terms of who's behind them who's in the role as the shape and just many aspects as far as how they're trying to go about getting a clear-cut vision out there versus the other entries where you kind of have someone making a movie and then not coming back to make the sequel there's a new crew involved new michael myers and, and all these other things the only thing that really were staying the same were the producers the like akads and you know all the all the typical people you were expecting but everything else was always changing you had different writer different michael myers um, I mean, you had a consistency in the cast a little bit with Daniel Harris, but this here has been so consistent. And I appreciate that that trailer breakdown from comicbook.com so I can come on here and share it with you guys and go over some of the highlights from it. Uh, this montage of stuff they show from Halloween 1978, I'm sure will be a source of nostalgia for those of you who got to witness that movie in theaters 40 years ago. And now we're going to be witnessing what may be the end of Halloween and Michael Myers and Lower Show as we know it this October. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notifications if you miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video